This video is part of a playlist which we are going to make a range zone experience based on the theoretical questions that are typically addressed by the associated TBA exam from MongoDB. So I wish you good studies and let's start. Knowing how to use the MongoDB compass or any other graphical tool for handle and to interact with your MongoDB database, maybe is not enough to utilize all the resources we typically have when we need to execute some more complete set of features using MongoDB. Through this tool, we typically can create a new database, we can open existing database, we can explore its collections, and then see and filter documents and create new documents and so on. But sometimes we need to execute commands directly in the console. And for this purpose, this tool by itself is not enough. Then for this purpose, we have to utilize tools like the MongoDB shell, which will help us to execute commands directly in the database itself. Okay, it's very simple to use. Basically, you need to come here and according with your platform, you download that. You're going to be redirected and it's going to be downloaded. And the goal of this video is to explore this tool. Uh, okay, this, it is compressed here. I have already downloaded that in the previous moment. So let me just come here and now we can open here the same folder and here we have inside that a software that you later on could register in the path of your operational system then you don't need to do double click here it will automatically be identified but you can just double click here and it's going to open a console where you can interact directly with your MongoDB server so now it's initiating and here we have it is going to present a first message and then we can use this tool to connect in any MongoDB server in the world not just your local host but anyone you just need to type the connection URL here but in my case I also has a local MongoDB server to interact with okay just a moment let's enter here the proper connection string okay here we are inside the database now we can execute commands directly here like I don't know or I don't remember the database names we can just type here show database then it lists me all database I have available you can observe that this list of database is the same list of database we have listed here as well these four database i have in this host so then i can choose one of them to try like use the company database now i am inside company database in case you do not like to have this screen full of text you could just clear that oops, with s you can just clear that and then now you have your console for you again and now i am inside a database there is a set of commands we could execute here one of them as well is to um, list the existing collections like show collections and then here we have the same collections we have in case we had open the database directly here the same set of collections these four collections here they are available here as well and from here we could like executing some commands directly in one specific collection like find and insert one and the all mongodb comments that is available so this is the goal of this video show you that is also possible to interact with mongodb directly using the console um, and not just by the graphical tool it's because many of themas we are going to study related to DBA, DBA exam is going to be executed directly in this environment thank you for watching